Hey guys, in this episode we're going to learn about while loops in Objective-C, which builds upon what you learned last time about for loops. Alright, let's get started. So to follow along, you can download this exact Xcode project in the link down below or the link on the screen. There are two loops that we're going to look at today. The first one is the do while loop, so it looks like this. Do some sort of statements while some condition is true. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's uh, declare an age variable again. And then in the do loop, I could do something like age plus plus. And last video, uh, we talked about age plus plus means that you're incrementing age by one every time. And in my condition, I can say do this while age is less than 10. So it's going to keep looping this statement age plus plus until the value of age is 10 or greater. Now the second loop is almost the reverse of that. It's while some condition execute this sort of statements or the set of statements rather. So uh, while while some condition execute a bunch of statements. Uh, so while age is less than 10 age plus plus. So in this loop, it's saying that if the value of age is less than 10, then run this statement and keep doing that until this condition is true. Now, at a first glance, the two loops might seem similar, and they are, but the difference is that with the do while loop, this set of statements will always get executed once before it checks the condition. This condition check happens after the set of statements executes once. While in this loop, the condition is checked before the loop happens. So that's really the main difference. So now you know about the while loop and the for loop. You'll find that these two concepts, the while, uh, the while loop and the for loop, exist in many other programming languages, not only Objective-C. So in the future, if you want to learn other types of programming, uh, they'll come in handy. For your fact of the day, did you know that Apple used to be called Apple Computer? And it was only in 2007 that it removed the word computer from its name and just called itself Apple to reflect that it was also not only doing computers, but also uh, doing consumer electronics. 